Hello there and welcome to another Bow Beats review. Today we are checking out this little device. It's a MIDI controller from Novation. It's called the Launch Control XL. And I think it's a really good affordable MIDI controller. And I hope to show you in this video how I have it set up. I will show you it together with my DigiTac, using it as a, as a controller for a hardware sampler. And talk a little bit about the strengths of this device. But before we do that, I just want to thank today's sponsor. On this channel, we talk a lot about learning, learning music production and learning about synthesizers. So for this video, I partnered up with Skillshare. So what is Skillshare? Well, it's an online learning community with over 17,000 classes. And just to name a few classes that caught my eye, there were one about Final Cut Pro, which I enjoyed a lot. There were a couple about music theory, especially music theory for electronic music producers. That was pretty cool. At under $10 a month, Skillshare is also affordable compared to its competitors. And the premium membership gives you unlimited access to all the classes and all the expert teachers, which will help you grow and learn. Now, if you're like me and you wanna try before buy, use my link in the description for for two months, totally free. Just try it out, see if you like it. So most people won't use the Launch Control XL together with something like a DigiTact or a Novation Circuit because the Launch Control XL doesn't have a MIDI out, it has a USB port. However, if you connect the USB port to a USB MIDI host, you can translate the signal into DIN MIDI going into the DigiTact. And this is pretty much how I use the LCXL. I don't use it together with a computer, but I know it works really well inside of a DAW, for example, Ableton Live. There's a ton of yeah, presets for that, and it's basically set up already to work very well with Ableton Live. But I think it's more interesting as a, as a controller for a hardware unit. Oh, and just so you know, these white stripes here, I, I've added myself. It doesn't come with them. Uh, I just had them for my patch base and I've added it to the controller in order to be able to mark and label each knob and, and fader. So on the Launch Control XL here, we have templates here. So there are factory templates, eight of them, and there are user templates, eight of them. And it's really quick. If you press user, you can switch between them very quickly. Now for my setup, I actually have the same templates on every single slot here. The only difference being that they correspond to different MIDI channels because the DigiTact has eight MIDI channels and LCXL uh, has the eight templates. So uh, if we go to use template number one, it corresponds to MIDI channel number one over here on the DigiTact. It means that I suddenly have a ton more control over the DigiTact parameters, which is really cool. So right now I'm basically doing a control all thing where I'm using all these controls to control all the eight tracks on the DigiTact at one time. I think it's a really fun way to just come up with new kind of sounds and grooves.
So this is the Launch Control Excel software, and it's actually really well designed and very easy to use. You can save and load templates, and you can basically click any knob, fader, or button to change what it does. Uh, any knob and fader can send CC messages and the buttons can actually send note messages as well. So you can have a little keyboard uh, set up over those uh, buttons down there. And you can see here, there's the CC message that you can be sending. Uh, you have a MIDI channel, you have a minimum and maximum value as well as the LED colors. And do note that you can only have one MIDI channel per knob or fader or button. So you can't send it to multiple channels from one knob. So what are the biggest strengths of this MIDI controller? What I would say, the price. Secondly, I would say that the build quality is actually really good for the amount of money you're paying. The knobs feel good. They have a bit of resistance to them. The same goes for the faders, a bit of resistance there as well. And number three is how easy it is to set this up using the computer. And number four is how quickly you can switch. You hold the user button here and you can switch between the eight user presets. And that's just very quick, very hands-on, accessible, good for live performances, for example. And I think another thing I really dig about this unit is that you can change colors for the little LED lights here. But a downside to this device is that you can't change the colors for, for these ones here. They are fixed. So I'd love to see that in, say, a Mark II unit. Another negative is that there's only the USB port here for connectivity and as I've showed you previously you can get around this by using a MIDI USB host that's not the same thing as a MIDI uh, USB interface mind you don't get those too confused I got a couple of videos talking about this I would love to see a Mark II unit with actual physical MIDI because the fact that you only have the USB here makes it so that you can't really use this for a hardware synth setup without getting an additional uh, little utility unit box, whatever, uh, to, to be able to transmit the USB data and translate it to uh, DIN MIDI. So I would love to see, you know, there's a lot of space here for ports. So for an updated unit, I would love to see uh, them adding physical MIDI. Now the Launch Control XL is of course not the only MIDI controller or MIDI keyboard out there that you can use as I've shown you in this video. There is the Arturia Keylab series, there's the Native Instruments Complete Control series as well. Ornovation's own MIDI keyboards could be good options as well. One benefit with a MIDI keyboard is that you have a real MIDI out port, so you don't need a MIDI USB host. So that's something to consider, but of course the Launch Control XL is so cool because it's so small, compact, with all these controls on top of it. Thank you so much for watching, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and thank you to all the patrons who are supporting the work I do here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe if you want to, hit the like button if you think this was a good review, and leave comments if there's anything you want to know. And before I say my goodbyes, we of course need a little sip of the coffee. So I hope you all have a pleasant day, thank you so much.